Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Joe Usual. This is the Long Dark, and uh, today we're going to be um, we're going to be bagging and tagging big game. We went ahead and we dropped a moose in the last episode at the very end, and today I'm after that bear. So we're sitting in an ice cave right now. But in the meantime, let me go ahead and say hello to everybody who said something before the chat, the uh, the live stream started. Uh, let's see, Bob Gigolo, how you doing, bud? I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that uh, that those kind words. Roy Bailey, I hope you're feeling better, bud. Uh, good luck to you. Uh, Big Run Beast, hello, Canadian Guy 18, Kuja's in here, Brooklyn Bella's in here, Chad Wright is, Obi-Wan Karabi, Andrea, let's see who else is in here, Dave Corbin, Daniel Maria Moreno, RMK1068, Matt Russo, Don Johan, Tomina, and Squirrel Nutty. Okay, guys, I think I got everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get this turned off and get on with the program. All right. Here we go. You know what? Let me check real quick my audio level because it sounds a little low to me right quick. Hang tight. Whoa. Stop. Stop. Go away. No. Yes. Stop. That's not what I wanted. It was low. Hang tight. Bear with me. Hold. All right. I think we're good now. A little better. All right. All right, so we're in the in the ice cave, and we have our Travoy, and it's loaded up with all kinds of good stuff. However, I think what I want to do, just so I don't, oh, do I have any? Do I have any firewood at all? I don't. All right, we might just have to deal with this. Hopefully, we don't get any wolves in here. That would not be good. All right, let's go ahead and um. Hopefully, these wolves don't show up. They've been known to. We're gonna harvest this. I'm going to use my tools to make it faster. Actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I don't trust this. Let's drink some water. What's a little low? Here we go. Here's some coal. Let me go get a stick. We'll start a fire. I think we might be far enough away from the wolves. I don't think it's going to matter. Because we've got deer out here. I think we're okay. I'm still a little nervous, but let me grab... I want to grab a stick. Here we go. That'll do. I won't be able to get all of them uh, done, but I'll get most of them done. And boil some water while we're here, too. I changed my mind. What did I change my mind about, Coom? How you doing? Okay, I can be able. To, I, I can do a couple of these. Hey, City Flyer, how you doing? Actually, I don't need any more water.
Oh, you know what it didn't do? I almost forgot. Actually, I did forget. Because we slept the night and I didn't drop my moose hide. Oh, did I drop my moose hide? Oh, it's in here. Hang on. Yep, it's going to cure. And we're just going to leave this in here. And I also saw that piece of meat in that travoy. Let's eat that. Two hundred twenty-seven calories isn't going to help me by much, but it'll help a little bit. That's done. Six minutes till ready. Let's just do that. Pick that up. I still got two hours left on this. I'm just going to cook up a bunch of meat. That way I can just come. I can get four more pieces done. All right. Let's go ahead and eat. That's good enough. Let's plop this one down. minutes already we should get this done before the fire goes out I hope uh, you uh, worked up to loper. how do you loot all the areas quickly enough on loper as the game gets larger what do you mean I don't know what you mean by that you mean before the loot starts going away? You don't. You gotta. You gotta prioritize. You gotta figure out what you want to do, and you go there first, and then you just cross your fingers and hope that you get the get to the rest of the places in time. It also it depends on where you where you end up spawning. Because if you start, I mean, when you're playing interloper, it's always random. Oh shit! I'm gonna burn these. No. Uh, we got oh man, fifty six. Well, you know what? That this might this being an outdoor uh, fire that might I might get I might get an hour out of that. All right, last one. Hey Hezekiah, how you doing? Yeah, there's no way you can hit all the all the maps uh, before uh, all the loot starts to go away. All right, so that's going to be that. You know what? Since we're here, let's grab these guts too. 16 minutes. I got enough time. Okay. We'll drop these guts with these. And drop this. Did it cook? Ah, it cooked. Awesome. Perfect timing. All right, let's go ahead and let's uh, drop this. Nice. Okay, so I've got a few pieces of meat. I uh, guess we'll go ahead and just take this. Grab this. You're not going to have to drop anything. Well, maybe we will. Now we're good. For now. Mm. 
midday. We've got enough calories for a couple of days here. You might want that instead. What region do I hate to going to? And once you get out of, you've gotten uh, what you need there. Um, I mean, probably the the one that's the most what has been the most dicey for me was it would be uh, crumbled highway. But now that we now that we know that torch trick, now that that's now that the wolves have changed. It's not that bad at all. But if I had to pick one that, that, that I'm least fond of, I guess I, I guess Hush River Valley. Because I just don't know it as well as I'd like. I mean, I know it, but I don't know it like like some other people know it. You know what I mean? I don't like I don't know it like the back of my hand. You'll notice we haven't been to Hush River Valley yet. Um, I mean, Black Rock has all kinds of timber wolves. It's not that bad, but uh, when you're geared, but if you're not geared, uh, timber wolf is an impossible place to start. Almost, it's not impossible, but it's very difficult to start in, in Black Rock. Um, it really is situational, and I haven't dealt with the contamination zone enough to really know. Um, I do. I, I do know that I got. I, I died there last time. So, but that was because I didn't take my antibiotics. I think we'll be okay this time. I'm going in prepared. You hate muskeg? I love muskeg. Once you know where the bear is, the bears are, and the uh, and the wolves, it's not that difficult to get around. All right, so I, I hear the wolves howling where they're probably on their way. But I don't want to spend too much time here. We can always come back down and grab those cattails. These cattails right here. I'm gonna, well, actually, you know what? I'm not that cold. If the wolf barks at me, I can always go up. Keep my eyes open. Slow and steady through the zones. You mean, are you talking about um, the contamination zone? Yeah. Definitely slow and steady. But like you had said before, Karabi, we're going in. We got to go in with um, with a bunch, of, a bunch of food. That's why all the cattails. And I've got meat to sustain me now, so I don't have to worry about it. Now we just got to worry about cabin fever. You hug the left side. I always go. Uh, I always go down the tracks. You, you know that because you've been watching me. That left side takes a little bit longer. There is the, that cave that you can get into though, which is nice. Or those two caves, rather. Or no, I guess it's just the one. Okay, boop, 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 boop. I've got cooked meat. I've got 80% cured on these rabbits. That's cool. How am I looking on my clothes? 90%, 93, 94. Those are good. I do need some ptarmigan down. Maybe we'll go looking for some ptarmigan. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Let's break that down. All right. 
right, 64, 23, 87. 87? Nice. All right, there's not much for us to do here. Um, let's go ahead and let's um, drop this meat. We can fix some clothes. Use the rest of my... My... Whatchamacallit? My whetstone. Fix my knife. Okay. So I guess the first one we're going to... Let's fix our, our long johns. Hey, Wendell. All right, what's next? Socks? Yeah, socks, I guess. I don't really need to, but I'm just trying to... Actually, you know what? Let me take a look. Is that fog? Oh, it's still it's still the it's still the the, the glimmer fog. All right, that's fine. Why do I like interloper over the other modes? Because uh, there, there's no reason for me to to play the other modes. It's boring for me. There's too much loot and it's too easy. I've played this game for so long that I just, uh, you know, Interloper is the only game for me, really. Every time somebody tries to convince me to play Stalker, we, uh, we, we, I end up with uh, too much loot, and it just be, it's just too easy. There's too much loot in, in, in Stalker. This uh, this game, uh, th this version keeps us on our toes. And every day's an adventure. I need a deer. Not right at the moment, but I'm gonna need a deer. Well, I don't really see much to do here. I guess I can go out and gather some wood. It's almost dark, though. Let's, uh... Top ourselves off. Well, and when I say easy, I mean for me, right? I mean, like, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, disparaging anybody, you know, you know their gameplay. Like everybody's at a different level. It's fine, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and plop these down. Thirteen cloth. I don't need. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot. Saplings. For arrows later. By the way, speaking of arrows, let's go ahead and see what kind of damage those, ar those arrows got yesterday. I only have four that are 100, two that are 80, 173, and, and three of them that are at 46. And I only have one arrow shaft left, I think. Or did I use it? Maybe I used it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sharpen our knife. That's it. That's all we. That's all she wrote. I don't have another one. I was really expecting to find another one, but you know, that's the way it goes. We may have to. We may have to spend some time and go make another one. That rabbit can go. Whoop! That rabbit can go right here, next to this rabbit. Okay. Well, time for to go to bed, I guess.
Did the bear skin bed uh, bedroll uh, happen to get repaired? No, I got I have to kill the bear today. And then we won't. I, I don't even know if we're going to be able to do it in time because by the time that bear hide gets um, gets cured, it might not. Uh, the the bear the bedroll might be done. Oh, I I needed to break that bedroll down. That's what I needed to do. So I have that bear hide. So that's what we got to do. We have to uh, we have to we have to head back. We gotta go back to the airfield. Uh, unless, no, you know what? I'll do it once I once I drop that bear. Then I'll go back and I'll and I'll break that bedroll down. A lot of meat, man. A lot of food to keep your keep your bonus. The wind's whipping this morning. I can hear it. Not too bad, though. We'll wait for two more hours. All right. Top ourselves off. Make sure we're tippy top with our wheels. I'll have to go get some more meat when we come back. But not right now. Okay, room zoom zoom, let's go. The carry weight is at 78 out of 88, so I or 88. Oh, that's right, because I don't have my I don't have my my satchel. That's okay. We've got the Travoy. I've got two stones on me. We're going to head down to the sh the uh, fishing shack and see if there's any firewood. And then we're going bear hunting. Oh, this is cool. I have to come back for that guy. I don't want to touch him until I'm ready to harvest him. But I said I needed a deer hide, didn't I? You know what? Never mind. I'm going to grab this deer hide. This might be a problem, but we're going we're gonna to find out. It's an hour. Let's do it. Hopefully there's no wolves. I've been attacked like this before without a fire. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. I need these. We haven't lost an arrow yet, but that's a lifesaver right there. So it's 18 arrow shafts to refurbish my arrows. I got plenty. Oh, shit. There he is. I knew it. I knew he was on his way. Light it. Run, rabbit, run. He's coming for you, bunny. Exactly what I wanted to hear. You hear that bark? That means he's after that rabbit. And now, there he is. He just killed that rabbit. Where is he? Where'd he go?
Where is he? There he is. Thank you. My bunny rabbit. Ha ha! Another glimmer fog already? That's just dumb. All right, we're gonna plop this guy down. Actually, let's put this out, I guess. It's a waste of my freaking... Oh, I could have I started a fire and cooked this meat. Oh, that's fine. Let's go and harvest this guy up with my hands. It's my rabbit. You may not know, you, or you, may, you may know, but if you have no smell bars, the wolves will still smell you. Oh, I'm very aware. You saw a wolf walk, lock onto you, you thinking uh, it was a hide or something when you, uh, when, uh, when you dropped it and he wandered off. Yeah. No, we've, I mean, and you, I, occasionally I'll get somebody to argue with me about that, but, uh, but no, you're absolutely 100% correct. If you've got, if you have, you may not see the smell bar, but they still smell you. If you have something on you. Hides, guts, I mean, uh, even cooked meat. Even if you don't see the, even if you don't see it, they they smell it. Just because you don't have a smell bar doesn't mean it's not 0.95 to be getting a smell bar. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. All right, so that wolf is probably still out here. Although it's been an hour, I'm gonna go down and get. I'm gonna go down and get uh, the firewood. I think that wolf probably wandered off. too cold out here comparatively speaking all right a few more cattails here a couple anyway Yeah, I'm aware. RMK. No firewood here, huh? That's weird. Okay. Uh, I'll take this scrap metal. I might need it. I might use it. How's my hacksaw looking? Ninety-eight percent. Yeah, I don't really need it, but it looks like it might be ending. I'm going to skirt this edge and see about cattails. Temperature's going up, so. We'll probably start a little baby fire until this is over. Just keeping my head on a swivel looking for that bear. Is it a cave? Not a cave. Yeah, it only the basement. You have to go. I mean, you have to be underground to not be affected by the glimmer fog, which is why I don't worry about it. Insomnia is not that big of a deal. 
It just it's it's a pain in the butt trying to see through this fog is all. Yeah, the basement at the airfield is the only place that I know of. So you just kind of have to deal with it. So have you survived past 100 days, or is it pointless at that point? Yes, I've survived. I've, I've, got, I've done two 500-day runs. They're both on the channel. Um, most of everything else, though, is, is I've died. Uh, I, the, last, the last longest after 500 days, it was 300-something. It's not pointless. There are people that have survived 1,000 uh, uh, days. I stop after 500 because I, it gets boring for the audience, but... Um, but th there's a there's one person that survived 10,000 days. Or so I've heard. I wonder how much of that was fast forwarding the game though. If I could find the plane, that'd be cool. I need more firewood. And we're getting close to the bear, so I gotta watch out. He's gonna be here in a minute. Oh, you meant 500 days. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, it, it's not pointless. Um, it's it, it becomes more of a challenge because then you start running out of matches you start running out of cloth um, so the the challenge then is to find um, you know go beach combing to find materials and then you have to like wait until it gets sunny so you can use your your uh, your, your lens so you can start a fire that way and then just triple up on or quadruple up on on water and cooked food so you can make it between days when when the weather's bad it's, it becomes a whole different game a, after about 500 days but it becomes a, rep, rep, a repetitious thing and it becomes boring and i know it becomes boring because I, i've seen my numbers drop dramatically toward the end of a 500 day run People lose interest. The, in the 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 interesting part, the exciting part, is the beginning when you're when you're getting geared up, when you don't have a lot. Once you have everything, it becomes just a matter of just making sure you don't make a stupid mistake, like I'm about to do, because I'm walking right into the wool into the into the bear's den. I don't see him, but I know I'm getting close to his his his, uh, his cave. But I want these cattails. Hey, Ari, what's up? Okay. This that'll do. We're going to double back. And then I'm going to head across and head back to the cave and get warmed up. I think this this should be good. And then we'll track down that bear.
Come on. The cliff would be nice. Where are you? There it is. Okay, we missed the cave by a little bit. We're close though. Any port in a storm, as they say. about sleeping actually I kind of do when I'm thinking about it let's take a let's take a nap a one hour nap I guess we're gonna head back to the house because I'm it's gonna get dark and this glimmer fog lasted all freaking day. This is ridiculously stupid. I don't like the I don't like the 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 amount that they that they the amount of crap that they put in there. I mean I guess because they, you know what? No, I mean they balanced it with a lot of with a lot of uh, supplies. Like you've got a bear and a moose, both really close. You've got enough wolves to, to that you can you can chew on those for a little while. There's a bunch of deer. There are a ton of cattails. So technically, having it be a little bit more rough in the weather side of things, it kind of balances out. But it's just a pain in the ass. A pain in the tuchus. A, a pain in the bunghole. Yeah, we're not, we, I wouldn't be able to, to hunt the bear anyway, so it doesn't matter. We come back with, with quite, quite a, a, a bounty of, of cattails, though. That's nice. And I still have enough steak for tonight. I might have enough firewood to cook a couple steaks in the morning, too. What up, Article? How you doing, buddy? By the way, did I check the back side of this to see if there's anything here? Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and let's um, see our cattail haul. What's that? What is it? 46 cattails shut the front door. That's amazing. Oh, I don't have enough room in here. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull all these cattails out. I have 15 pounds of cattails, guys. <laughs> that's funny. Well, that's my new place to put them. 15 pounds of cattails. That's 133 cattails. That's really good. Eat this. Uh, you know what, Big Ron? That you you know what's been running through my brain for the last uh, uh the last uh, five minutes is exactly what you just said. <laughs> I am Catalholio. <laughs> I need tinder for my bunghole. 
That's what's been running through my brain for the last five minutes. And you just said that. That's really weird. Obviously, we've been hanging out too much together. And by that, I mean you, you come here every day. All right, so... I'm going to wait for four hours. Great minds think alike. Old minds think alike. <laughs> I've got enough for tomorrow, but I'm going to have to boil water in the morning. Uh... Did I, did I grab any more t uh, saplings? No. I only have five sticks on me. Oh, we've got a bunch of books, though. I could carry these books over. That's what we'll do. I'll carry the books back down to the cave. I'll boil water and cook meat. That'll do. Yeah, that's the last of my cooked food, so that's fine. That's what we're going to do. What would you recommend for tips on lopers to survive your first 100 days? Um, loot as much, I mean, as much gear as you possibly can. Go get the technical backpack right out the, right out the gate at Ash Canyon so you can, uh, so you can get your, your carry weight up because the more you can carry, the more, the more opportunities you have to survive. Um, then I would go with, um, yeah, uh, then go to the go to the summit as soon as possible. You got to get there within the first month, or you're going to lose a lot of gear. Uh, and then loot Pleasant Valley, the radio tower, and the homestead are and and Thompson's Crossing are my three big ones. Uh, the the radio tower and the homestead in in Pleasant Valley are the the two best places for for clothing loot on that map. Um, and then, you know, you're going to get matches and you're going to get extra gear or extra food at the at Thompson's Crossing. Um, you obviously want to get your uh, your hammer as, as fast as possible. So if you come across a hammer, immediately make your tools and your arrowheads. And then once, once you get a hacksaw, start chopping up your your uh, your saplings so you can get those start to, starting to cure. Because you need a bow as quickly as possible, but you, you may not get it until the first month, you know. I don't know what a, oh, did I have insomnia? I did. I'm tired. There we go, now I can sleep. There it is, there it is. Yeah, I always carry. Uh, I always carry, try to carry eight to ten uh, uh, torches that come from a fire, or three to four fully made torches, hundred percenters. Uh, all right, I guess since it's clear, we need to be going outside, even though it's cold. I don't have a choice. That cured. That rabbit pants cured. That's cured. Oh, that one's cured. That one's done. Uh, we've got four cured pelts. Let's put those in here with the cattail so I don't forget them. I'll put this piece of scrap metal in here too for later. I'll put one piece of leather in here just so I have it. Um, oh, I don't need that thermos either. That thermos can go in there. Take the travoy because I need that. Yeah, you want to light a torch before you, before, if you're, I mean, like, my, 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 my fire starting is what? It's not quite five. Once it reaches five, then, uh, then I've got a 100% chance with the stick. I've got 95 right now. So a lot of times I'll just light a match and just try, and just try to start a fire that way with 95% chance. But you really should light a torch every time. I mean, because it just because then you're guaranteed you're going to light your fire with a single match. I 
need firewood. I need firewood. That's not... I might... No, six times five is only 30. So I won't... I actually don't have enough firewood to uh, to light a fire. I mean, to, to cook a piece of meat. So that's going to be a bummer. There's the bear. Dead ahead. I see him. I think those are wolves to my right. Those might be deer. So, no, we've got deer here. That Those are wolves to the right. Deer are ahead of us, and the bear's right there. Let's go for the plane. The barrel walk right by the plane. I'll be able to jump in the plane if I need to. I'll take a pot shot at him. If I hit him, or not if, when I hit him, um, that's all it takes is one arrow to drop a bear. So, um, I need. Well, I mean, it would be nice to have two bear pelt or two two deer pelts. I have one already. I can harvest another off of a carcass if I need to. I don't need the meat. I just need the pelt. But I'm not going to waste an arrow over over a deer if I can find a carcass. And there's one laying around here somewhere. I think we're going to go get some firewood. the airfield let's see if I can do something here 29 degrees nope sure can't got to be above 32 what's this nope. all right we're gonna start we're gonna go this way if I can get up in these in these trees I should be able to find some firewood Grab these cattails just in case I don't make it back to my stash. I've got my I've got my quota for cattails, so anything I find right now I can eat. 130 cattails should should get me through the zone uh, the zone contamination zone with what else I find whatever else I find in the kitchen or whatever else I and, and there's a deer up in there and I think there's a couple of rabbits. Here's some more cattails. That bear's just kind of walking back and forth right in front of his cave. So if I can get up on the rock while well, he's distracted. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? Welcome. Okay, hypothermia is not bad. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose some health here, though.
This isn't going to be enough enough heat to be able to warm me up, though. Although, if I go and... Start a fire and put my bedroll down. We might be warm enough. Maybe. And then we could hoof it back to the, the airfield, get some fi real firewood, come back and strip that bear. Let's do that. All right. Or you know what? Maybe I don't have to. It'll depend on where he lands. He's gonna run off. I'm gonna get above him and I'm gonna shoot him from behind. Except I'm gonna be shaking because I'm so cold, but I might be able to do it from here. See if I could sneak around. That's not gonna be that's not gonna be good enough. It's not gonna work. You're just walking around in a circle. I don't know if I can beat him or not. Oh, he's walking away from me. That's that, that's a good thing. I can get up here. I've done it before. Come on. Huh. Well, shoot. He might be coming back. I gotta watch out. This might do. I hit him. Did I bleed him? I bled him. I can see the blood on the ice. Okay, that's good. All right, we're going to head back to the cave. That's all I needed. I've got enough sticks. I can make some, I can make, get some food in me. I can get some water and we'll wait for him to pass away. I'll check, I'll do my bear count here in a minute. I'm gonna keep an eye, make sure he doesn't double back on me. All right, well he stopped running, that's a good thing. Also on the note of the, uh, on the coffee club screen looks pretty darn cozy. You can thank D rabbits for that. He's the one that made that for me. I just extended the, uh, the, it was a gif. It was like a, 
I don't know, a 15 second gift or something like that. I turned it into a 15 minute uh, uh, video or loot so I can go ahead and I can use it for live streams. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like it. It's a really cool animation. The only thing I would add, the only thing I could I could ask for, and I'll probably have to, I'll, 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 I'll probably want to pay rabbits for this is a, is a summer version, or a spring version, or a fall version. You know, out, outside the window. I kind of want to do a turning of the seasons type of thing where I loop all loop all four seasons together, so that it goes from winter to spring to to summer to fall. I haven't asked him though. So, uh, rabbits, if you're in here, you just heard that, or maybe you're watching the video. Okay, gonna need to eat soon. Yes, we are, and that's okay. I've got cattails on me, so we can fill up, and then we can make some water. So we got done talking about this. Lighten the torch. The dumbest mistake that I've, I've, I've ever, that's, that's ended my run? Not taking antibiotics when I have food poisoning. Hands down. That's the stupidest mistake. All right, there's two hours. That's good enough. How many more sticks do I have now? 14. Okay, so that's great. Let's go ahead and slap this moose meat down here. That's an hour. Do some water. And my bear count right now is. Whoops. Bears killed five. So that, that, this will make six. Is that right, though? Hang on. Hey, Speed and Power, what's up? Green and high low. He's gonna go out now that I'm warm. See if I see him. Is he still walking around? I think he's still walking around. Yeah, he's still walking around. He'll drop in a minute. Hopefully he drops and I'll be able to wait until almost dark to do it. Because I need to drag him over here. Melted. Ready cattails. Oh, when I got stuck in the Aurora mine, but that wasn't a mistake, Kuja. That was that was just, just uh, I was just unlucky. That couldn't be helped. That's out of my control. So I don't feel bad about that at all. Perfect. I'm gonna leave that moose here. That way I've got it cooked. Now let's go see. It's windy as hell out here. I 
And he's down, ladies and gentlemen. He's down. At least I think he's down. If he's sleeping, that would be bad. We're going to walk to him, see, make sure that he's dead. I'm going to take a little nap in the cave, and then we're going to come back right before dark. Hopefully the wind will have died down a little bit by then. Yeah, he's down. He's not even sleeping. He's dead. He's dead. His, his arm is shaking, though. Oh, he, He's breathing. Oh, he's still alive. He's still alive, ladies and gentlemen. He's just sleeping. Uh-oh. I almost I almost messed up. I heard him breathe. Did you hear him breathe? I walked right up on him. His paw was over his face. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Poke him? No, I'm not going to poke him. I shot him. He's going to he's going to die here in a minute. <laughs> I was right up on him too. I, I've done that before. I did that at um at oh what's the name of the map? Bleak Inlet. I thought that bear bear was up on a rock, and I thought he was I thought he was dead because I shot him. No, he wasn't dead. <laughs> he was sleeping, and he attacked me. I'm not gonna pop him in the noggin with an arrow because he because if he gets up, he maul me. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna sleep for a couple hours here, guys. Oh, insomnia. We'll do one hour at a time. Come on, man. There we go. And now I calm down. This is what I wanted. All right, now we check for the bear. He should be gone. He should be passed away. He should be dead. Six. He's dead. Perfect. So long as the wind's not too bad, we should be able to harvest this dude. Only one arrow down on the tent. This is exactly what I wanted. Is that a wolf? That's a freaking wolf. What's a wolf doing here? Hang on. If I eat that, will he go away? He did go away. See that? He see that? He was smelling my my cooked meat, 143 calories. He was smelling it, and he was coming to my to the cave. It was on my person. That's a perfect example of you don't have a smell bar, but they smell you. As soon as I ate that meat, he stopped. He lost interest. There we go. A halo of crows. A murder of crows. This is not what I want right now. But it's too windy. Everybody knows it's windy. Hold my, hold my arrow back. I gave him a spinal tap. All right, I'm gonna head over here and see if maybe I can sleep in the in the airplane. Cause it's still we still have time. I need this wind to die down. Okay, we're, we're just warm enough, so let's sleep for an hour. Aren't they ravens further north? Um, no. I mean, in America, 
Ravens and Crows, it just depends on it, it depends on where you're at. But they're like I, I worked uh, I worked a year at, down in the south rim of the Grand Canyon, which is in the southwest. And we and there was a town I, I worked in and they had, it was just filled with ravens and I'm not crows ravens. The wind's still whipping. I just don't know, man. I might just have to take the chance. We're gonna lose some health here, guys. That wolf is gonna be a problem. We may have to wait till the morning. I think I'm just gonna wait till morning. So in that case, let's just go to let's go to um, the airfield. I'm gonna get some firewood. Ravens are not evil. They're highly intelligent. They're not evil. Ravens are way bigger than crows. Way bigger. I don't want a, a bird as a pet, but I wouldn't mind making friends with a couple of ravens. That'd be cool. Actually, you know what? No. I've got enough cattails. We're going to head back. And cross our fingers and hope we don't have a storm in the morning. That wolf went... Oh, they, oh the wolves replaced the deer. I see what happened here. The spawn shifted. Yes, Don, he did. Hugen and Munin were their names. Oh, no, they didn't. The deer are still here. I got to get healed up, though. That wolf might be wandering off. heading back 
Are you going to be my dinner? Speaking of dinner, I forgot I had that. That's great. Okay, well, we're just going to plop down here for a minute. Eat that. I mean, it's nighttime. Is it cloudy? This might be the time. I think this might be the time. Kind of have to take the take advantage of when I can. I, if there's an aurora, though, we might be in trouble. Oh, the wind is still just blowing so hard. We gotta wait. It's gotta be calm. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I can. No, it's it's too cold. Never mind. If I was full health, I I might attempt it, but I'm not. Not even close. No, I'm not going for a trek. No, 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 no. Okay. Insomnia is just annoying. It doesn't hurt, but it's just annoying. <laughs> fully rest. I can't fully rest. I've got insomnia, Karabi. What are you talking about? You, keep, you don't see the, the message at the top of my screen saying something woke you up. I can't fully rest. It won't let me. <laughs> I would love to. I would love to do eight hours, but it won't let me. Try four more. Damn it, now it's a storm. All right, well, we're gonna have to pull some meat and head back to the house, I guess. Actually, after this storm, it should be, it should be pretty good. Meet all the cattails I've got on me. Oh, whoops. Don't need those sticks, man.
Ron, was your friend uh, a native? Makes sense if he was native, but if he if he if he was a white dude, man, there's no reason for that. <laughs> Sounds like it's about ready to stop. I heard the shift. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. He grew up off grid. Well, then he grew up superstitious for sure. All right. So this might be good. Come on, ga game. Give me some, a little time without any wind. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to have to risk it. One more or two more days and that, that bear is gone. Let's see if maybe I might get lucky with the with the fire. I'm hoping this is the tail end of the storm and not another one rolling in back to back. It's two hours. Let's do it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. I should have an hour left. I do. All right, let's, cr let's grab... Uh, that's dinner. So far, so good. All right, real quick. Come on, man. see the wolves nice all right now we wait.
Hold on to these. We'll break those down. I can make some water in the cave. All right. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. We did it. Now I've got enough alertness to break down all these tonight. We'll sleep in the cave, and then we'll be done. I mean, we'll be done. Don't forget the feathers. I already picked up the feathers before we left, before when I went there the first time. I'll go back and check it, though. You went round and round about about uh, making a travoy. So did I. You saw me. I was like, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But really, hang on. I mean, my your field of vision is is not great, but we're getting close to going to the zone for sure. Because I'm not going to wait around for these hides. Back to camp. We're going back to the cave. I'm going to bust down all these, all, the, all this meat. We're going to leave the hides in the cave, along with all the guts, because they can cure there. And then uh, we're going to head back up to the cabin, grab all the cattails, head back to the um, the airfield. I'm going to break down that bear, that bear bedroll, so that that doesn't degrade any further. And I'll have that, I'll have that hide. We can just leave it there. We'll come back and make a new bear bedroll once we're done with the contamination zone. We'll have all this meat to sustain us when we come back. Um, and then I'll be living off cattails in the uh, contamination zone in, the, uh, in tomorrow's video, in tomorrow's live stream. By the way, guys, I know I said I, I was going to put up another uh, um, Nightingale video yesterday, but my, I, it took me forever to record that video. I, I, did, I, I got done at like 11 o'clock last night. And... Um, and... I just, I had to go to bed. And then Zeus got sick at 2 a.m. He was puking and having convulsions, so he's feeling like crap. Like he was in, he was having it. He was, it was like he went into an epileptic fit, is the, how my wife described it. I wasn't awake for it. But he threw up and, uh, and he had, he was having convulsions, so. She's insisting that we take him to the vet now. So I don't know how that's going to, how that's going to play out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I definitely need to get some firewood before I break this break this stuff down. Although I will take the the hide out and the guts out, and we'll drop those. And what's the percentage on this? Forty nine percent. So let's um. Actually, I, I'll leave that in here. I'm going to eat that. All right, so I don't have any water. How many sticks do I have? None. We used them all. That's right. Um, I've got books at the house. All right, I'm going to grab, I am going to grab this one. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to do it the other way. I'm going to run, since I'm so awake, we're going to run to the house. I'm going to grab all the books. We're going to come back. And then I'm going to go ahead and break everything down. We'll just stay in, the, in, in, in here tonight. Hopefully I can get back before an Aurora hits. Have ever shown Zeus on the channel before? Yeah, he used to be the 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 uh, beginning uh, before the live stream started. He was I had his his uh, picture up, and I, on my homestead channel at the end of one of my videos, I've got him and I playing together. He's not as handsome as he used to be. He's starting to become all skin and bones now, except for his big belly, because of the cancer. But we'll remember him as he was, not as he is.
Yeah, he, um, yeah, it, it, it's it, the swelling's gonna become pretty bad now. I think he, we may have to take put him down. And I mean, the reason I didn't put him down the other day was because because uh, the wife wasn't ready. But then this morning she was like, I can't handle him being like this. We, it's time to take him to the vet. So we'll talk about it after the live stream, and we'll see what we, what, we, what she has to say about it. We got a few more days with him, but it's it's very obvious that he's done. He's uncomfortable. I don't know how much pain he's in because he's not whining. Hang on. I hear them, but I don't see them. They sound weird too. It sounds like they're under the ground. They're bugged? Okay. We'll get out of here then. Ghost chickens. Ghost chickens. Coyotes after you. Hey, Brina. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna have him. Uh, uh, we're gonna have him um, uh, cremated. Okay, I don't have any more. Any more sort of firewood at all? Do I? There's another book right there, though. That might be enough to boil some water. Thanks, Cyrus. Yeah, I only have a few videos I did last year. I didn't do many. All right, let's go. Barrels in the Molo? What are you talking about? What, what, what does that even mean? Oh. That's right. I forgot I had firewood in back in there. I dropped all that firewood. I forgot all about it. Yeah, good call. Thanks. six hours worth that'll get me what I need I completely forgot about that guys thank you what's a molo a Wendell is that a dock I'm not familiar with that word you're talking about here right is it a dock or is it a porch? What's a molo? What word is that from? Or what country is that word from? I've never heard that word before.
Okay. Jetty Pier and so on. That's great. I, I know what those words mean. I've never heard the word molo before. I'm a land lover, dude. I don't live on the coast. I mean, I if I heard somebody said molo. I mean, to me, it would sound like you're you're like you're like crouching down and trying to get small. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get molo. I don't want anybody to see me, so I'm trying to get mo low, man. All right. Let's go. Ooh, boy, I tell you what, this has been kind of a kind of a stressful hour and a half, guys. I really didn't think I was gonna get that bear. <laughs> Molo. All of it. It's all going in here. I don't want any, any wolves walking up, man. And I'll drop these books for later. Awesome. These sticks, too. And let's plop another moose meat on here while we're... While we're getting in here thirty-five minutes yeah I'll do thirty-five minutes Works out really well, actually. Except it doesn't work out with that, though. Don't step in the fire, dude. Redneck? I mean, it could be redneck or it could be it could be very very urban. Either way. Actually, I'm just going to use my knife. I'm going to regret that later, but it's fine. Let's see if we can do this without... Without burning up anything. I think we should be okay. Oh, mooring location. Mo low. I, that makes sense now. There the meat go. Uh oh. Is that cooked? Okay, I can't get these mixed up. I'm going to all end up hurting myself. I 
forgot I had another piece of cooked meat in that travoy. Hey, Matt, what's going on, bud? Until boil. I wonder if I can get this done without without burning up that water. I've got enough water now. I can experiment. Yeah, we're good. Peace. Peace, guys. We're still at the airfield? Yep. We are at the airfield. Uh, yesterday I, I dropped a moose, today I dropped a bear. We're just finishing harvesting up the bear. I'm going to eat that. Got three hours left. I right, got almost two gallons of water now. It's an hour. I don't want that one. It's an hour. Let's go ahead and lay our bedroll down here. It'll let me. for an hour. Skills and clothing check? Yeah, you bet, Matt. Give me a second. I'm just cooking enough meat, uh, as much meat as I can with the firewood I've got so I don't waste it. We have two hours left. We should be able to get two more out of uh, two, two more steaks out of this fire. I know, Wendell. I'm aware. I'm being careful. Thank you for the concern, though. Okay. 
That'll do. One more. Okay. I literally have one more hour left, so we're going to cook two more pieces. slow maybe I'll just leave this here most of it here I think that's everything. Double check, to make sure. All right, so we've got all this raw meat. We've got uh, hides working here. Some firewood when I come back. Water, cooked food. Yeah, this is a good cache. This is a really good cache. We're going to head back up to the cabin. I'm going to drop off this little baby meat here. I'll probably eat it all before we leave. Pick up the cattails. Take a solid nap and head to the airfield. I thought I heard a wolf that freaked me out. Okay, Woo, we made it home. We made it home, and I still have firewood too, so that we, we have we have we can cook this if we need to. Um, 
Oh, he's done. Those are all cured. All right, I've got cured guts and I've got cured rabbit pelts. So we're gonna fix our rabbit hat and our rabbit mittens. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this if I need to. Drop these guys. Oh, I didn't realize I had those too. Great. Oops. Cool. Alright. Nifty. Let's go ahead and grab two pelts. Two guts. May as well get these tip top, even though they don't probably don't need them. Oh, 88, yeah they do. Those are 91%. Maybe I'll wait. Nah, you know what? I'm just going to fix them. Because I've got the stuff here. I may as well get them 100%. 10% is 10%. Alright, that's good. We're back up to 56 degrees, which is where we want to be. Everything is into 90. Okay, so you wanted a you wanted a, 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 a skill and, and clothing check. 91, 96, 96, 94, 94, 96, 84. I need to fix that in a minute. Um, that's 93. That's 77, but I'm going to switch that out for the 93. I don't have the charming that I need. Uh, 100, 94, 97, 99, 97, 93, 100. So the only thing that's lacking is the uh, combat pants. We'll fix those in a minute. And, um, and then this guy, but I need Tarmigan to be able to fix that. All right, so as far as skills go, uh, we are at uh, five on the carcass harvesting, five on cooking, nearly five on fire starting. We are at three and a half almost on ice fishing. Uh, archery is nearly four. Uh, mending is a little past three. That's it. So we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Saplings are almost done. I need that one. This is that one sapling. I'm going to grab this one sapling because we're probably going to spend the night and that'll be done. So, and I think I've got saplings. Don't I have saplings sitting at the airfield or is it just a maple sapling I've got at the airfield? And my bow's at 56%. I probably want to make a new bow. Now that I'm thinking about it, these arrows do not look great. Like, a couple of these arrows don't look amazing. So, I've got a bunch of torches I need to get rid of. Yeah, you know, we'll hang on to them for now. So, fix this guy. There we go. One of those meats is raw. Is it? Cooked. 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 No, they're not. These are raw. These are all cooked. They're two different types. You got bear and you got moose. They're different colors. So you guys are... You guys are... Uh, you're mistaking different co different types of meat for for raw and cooked. So I don't I don't have anything else on me. But these two these two uh, venisons are raw and these three rabbits are raw. But they're separate. So yeah. Anyway. All right. So how's this deer hide looking? Sixty two percent. So it's not good. Okay. Well, I guess what we do, uh, there's not really much for me to do here. What's on the floor? We're gonna leave that stuff. Um, let's go ahead and let's grab that's 14 pounds of cattails though that's a problem guys because I don't have 14 pounds of carry weight so I'm going to have to deal with something here uh, I guess I'm going to have to drop my water that's 5 pounds yeah Baskin Robins of uh, Baskin Robins of bush meat. All right, so we're gonna drop the water. That leaves me with food and water here. So that's a, just another cache uh, for for here. Um, you know, I don't think. Okay, here's what I, I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to haul anything 
I'm not gonna be. I might. I might hunt a bear. There's a bear over there on on that on that on that map, isn't there? But am I going? Am I gonna use the travoy for it though? It's only two pounds. Never mind. All right, let's drop some of our torches. This is gonna become interesting because I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I can still move pretty good. I'm at 89 out of 88. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's go. Have my bedroll. I've got my cooking skillet. I didn't bring the other one, did I? No. Okay. It's near the back entrance to the mine that I may not have I may not need my travoy. I might drop thirty cattails at the at the at the airfield. Just to lighten my load by, like, three or four pounds. You guys, stop. Farshot, I want you to stop that right now. Like, do not, guys, do not listen to Farshot. Farshot, don't, don't, don't be putting that in people's heads. It's not true. Do not eat raw chicken. Sort of guy, I'll slap the mod right out of you, dude. You're gonna make somebody sick. Don't do that. It's unacceptable. The only raw, the only meat that you can eat that's not that, that, that shouldn't be cooked all the way up to um, to its proper temperature, which is usually about 155 and 165 degrees, is steak. And the reason for that is because there's no there's no fat in steak. And um, so you can't do that to hamburger, even though it's beef. And with, uh, by the way, I got four wolves on my right and three wolves on my left. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even touch uh, uh, undercooked pork with a, with a 10 foot pole either. Medium well at the very least. I mean, I, when I said beef, what I mean is whole um, red, whole um, muscle red meat. Because that, then that includes like, um, like deer, venison, probably moose would be okay c to cook it medium rare. Um, although with game meat, you, you, you still want to probably cook it all the way. Yeah, no. If I was behind the line, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't have said yes, unless my boss told me to do it. But usually, uh, Andrea, on on most uh, high-end menus, they have a disclaimer on their menu saying that undercooked meats or other other food products can result in um, in um, in you know, some sort of food poisoning. And if you order that, you will, you're doing so at your own risk. So, it, it, so long as there's a disclaimer on the menu, um, a person can order pretty much whatever they want. And the restaurant will be safe. You call them cannibal sandwiches? Um, Brina, does it have fat in it? Does it have suet? Is it a is it a is it a hamburger, or is it just ground just ground meat? If it's just ground like whole muscle, then it should be fine. 
like but my father he he um he used to make what he called all-american beef dip and he, my, my father was a fool he'd take garlic and onion and worcestershire sauce and uh and um and um tomato paste and ground hamburger i mean literal hamburger and he'd mix it together and he'd make it and then he'd take crackers and he'd eat it raw my father was a madman um, I w I, he made me taste it once, but I never ate it again because I knew how dangerous it could be. Because it's got the suet in it, it's got the fat in it. Now, if you're making your own and you're making it fresh, it's probably going to be okay. But I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust uh, uh, fat from an animal that might have parasites in it. I'll, but I, but I mean, I'll eat them. I'll eat a medium rare or rare steak. That's not a problem. But everything else has got to be cooked through. You saw a chicken sushi TikTok the other day? It's another example of young punk ass bitches. I'm, I'm, it makes me angry that they put something dangerous on, uh, on, on, you know, online. And little kids or impressionable children are going are gonna to see that and try it. And they're going to end up in the hospital, man. Or worse. In, they're going to end up in a box. I mean, obviously they've got steak tartare, and that's you know that, that's that's raw meat. I'm gonna have to stay for a day or so, guys, just so I can get my my health back. a sad day the other day I, I had to I had to throw out my pickled fish even though it said it was fine on the on the on the packaging I, I took a fork and dipped into it and and some of the fish was gloopy you know what I mean it's gloopy it lost its firmness even though it was pickled I just can't I, I'm sure it was still fine because it's pickled but I just couldn't handle the texture yo it was like I had fish jelly in my mouth it was gross Pickled fish jelly. I'm losing a lot of health here, man. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, I do have that one that one sapling. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this sapling right now. Alright. Well, first of all, we're gonna lose our temp we're gonna lose our um our two degrees temperature. Let's go ahead and get rid of. Let's get rid. Let's take that off. Let's go ahead and take this off. Let's see where my moosehide satchel goes. And then we'll take. We'll wear that one. And that's my 93. We'll wear that one. All right. Now we're down to 54 degrees. Oh no, 54 degrees. Matter of fact, since I'm going to be carrying that around all the entire time I'm 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 in the contamination zone, I'm going to leave this other. I'm going to leave this other one here. That's half a pound we can get rid of. Um, this bearskin beard is now at 10 percent. We're going to break it down, guys. We're going to break it down. I have to. So I'm going to get a cloth and a cured black bear hide. That way we don't lose the black bear hide. And I've got the other one that's curing right now. We'll be able to make a new one when we come back. So that's actually really good for us. All right. So that's good. What's the percentage on that hide? 100%. So that's great. So we're going to go ahead and just lay this down right here. That's how you save your bear, your bedroll. If it's, if it's too bad, just plop it down. You, I mean, you lose a hide, but that's better than... I mean, yeah, because you, you need two hides to make one, right? You're only going to get one of them back. 
But I'd rather I'd rather have that hide ready to go when I come back than to lose it all together. All right, uh, I've got water. And I've got cattails, so you know what? I didn't want to take carry you know, uh, you know, 30 cattails, I mean 133 cattails anyway. So we're gonna just carry, we'll just carry 100, I'll eat the other 30. That's what we'll have for dinner. So I won't worry about that. I'm just gonna eat them. The countdown begins right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are, um, eating cattails. This is my, this is my reserve food. But since I don't have my meat, this is what we're eating. All right, right now I'm at 80 out of 90. No, sorry, 90, 90 out of out of 80. But I'm going to be at 99, right, when I wake up. So there's my cook pot. There's my tools. Um, what else do I have in here that I let? Um, oh, I do. I, there, I did have an arrow shaft. So what we're going to do is I'm going to wait for a day, get healed. Oh, I've got all this birch bark. Yeah, buddy. That's how I'm getting my health back. Okay, so there's that. Um, gonna go. I might want to make another bow. It only takes eight hours, right? So maybe that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll grab this. We'll grab these two. That's going to be a thing. I've already got one of these. I'll take all my line. Uh, how many torches do I have? Two. I'll take one more. 97 out of uh, out of 99 so when I'm all the way awake okay so what we're gonna do guys it's almost dark all right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out walk back in save the game and this is where we're gonna leave it bit of a long stream today oh no 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 we're done it's t it's, it's two hours and five minutes and I gotta go check on the dog because he's really sick I gotta see if I can get some food in anyway guys I think that's going to do it. Thank you very much for coming in. Tomorrow we're going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to make some arrows. We're going to make another bow. We're going to head over to the zone of contamination once I get all of my inventory uh, sorted. I need those crampons too. All right, but anyway, guys, thank you for coming in. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If I've earned your subscription, don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.